Hey guys, Mohan Pobert here and today we're going to talk about how do you get the fucking money and this is part three. Let's get to it. So hey, welcome back to another video. My name is Mohan Pobert and this channel is all about how to buy and grow businesses by acquisitions. And this is video is basically, or this channel, sorry, is for me to document and share my journey with you guys, share with you my mistakes, my lessons, so you won't make the same mistakes. I'm also here to show you that if you have an existing business, I believe that this is the best way to grow. Um, I think that you can go and buy a, sim a similar business or a complementary business and basically bolt, in, bolt on that business to you and bring it and grow it faster by acquisition. That's what the biggest companies are doing. Companies like Facebook uh, who buy, who's buying companies like WhatsApp and Instagram and Amazon who's buying companies like Whole Foods. And you can do the same with small businesses. Most people out there talk about starting businesses from scratch. I'm here to tell you that it will cost you many times the same amount of money or even less. You can buy businesses for none of your own cash. Obviously, sometimes it depends on the deal. Of course, you will need to put your own cash, but it's not a must. You can find many, many deals where you just use the business assets and you leverage them to pay for the acquisition costs. And you combine that with using the business cash flow, the acquisition target cash flow to pay for the cost. So that's why I really, really believe in, in buying an existing business because most people get into the space of buying businesses or sorry, of, of being an entrepreneur or business owner. And the only thing they hear about is go start a business, get clients, learn how to sell, etc., etc. I'm here to tell you that you can learn the skill of buying businesses instead of learning how to find one client, learn how to find one business. And when you own a business, you can take income from day one, especially if you buy the right business and you have the right system to do that and you're profitable from day one, you can take income from day one versus a startup, uh, which I mean, most of them fail, unfortunately. And it will take you a long time to get to a point where you're making enough profit where you can take income home. So that's what this channel is all about. Um, but yeah, now let's get into the details of this video and kind of like what we want to talk about um, moving forward with this video. Yeah. So to begin with, um, I'm talking in this video obviously about the idea that you need money to finance your deals. Now, obviously you need deals, so I assume that you go out there, you talk to business owners, you either find those owners with brokers or you go directly to business owners, which I highly suggest you to do that versus going to brokers. With brokers, you have too much competition. When you go to talk to business owners directly, you're pretty much gonna be the only buyer and the rapport that you can build with those owners is just so much better. And many times the owners who sell any businesses, that's the only business that they ever had or ever, or the first business that they ever looking to sell. And rapport is very important. The person they're gonna sell the business to is many times more important than the amount of money they're gonna get for that business. So that's why I highly suggest you to go and reach out to business owners directly. And I'm talking different methods like broker, uh, sorry, like uh, letters or social media, or um, even doing cold calls or going to third, uh, let's say third party referrals, like going to accountants or lawyers or suppliers or anyone who's in touch day to day with business owners, or maybe even going to your local um, business, small business events. So everything like that, I think is much better than going to brokers. Yes, you can find good deals with brokers, um, but it's most likely gonna have, you most likely you're gonna have competition, which I don't suggest you to compete with unless you have lots of money that you wanna throw around and you wanna pay whatever amount. I'm talking about someone who's looking to buy a business at a fair accounting valuation and is looking to pay something fair and is not looking to compete with many times big businesses or private equity firms that have access to hundreds of millions to play with. Um, so I'm assuming that you're at this stage or at least thinking about going out there, talk to business owners and, and putting yourself out there as, an, as a business buyer, as an investor. Now, obviously I'm assuming that you have some kind of a way to position yourself as a legit buyer and you need the team behind you of people who did it already. So the broker or the business owner directly will look at you as someone who, I guess is someone legit, someone you can trust to buy their business. And that's why I ideally want someone in your team who already did those type of deals, who already know how to leverage banks and put debt into companies and still uh, manage the cash flow the right way to not get to a point where you buy the business and then have to shut it down because you don't know how to run uh, the business and you don't know how to find a manager to run the day to day for you. And every mistake in this, in this world is, is crucial, guys. Like we're buying million dollar businesses, so every mistake here can cost you six plus figures. And that's why it's really, really important. And that's one of the things we're gonna talk about in this video about the fact that 
um, you want to figure out with yourself if and how much assets you want to put in on the line. Uh, but we'll get to it in a, in a bit. In the meantime, I'm, I'm assuming you're out there talking to owners and then you start to receive financials from businesses, right? So you're starting to receive the latest balance sheet and the P&L and all that, all, all the numbers that you need basically to understand if the business is good or not. And I'm assuming you're moving forward and, and now you're starting to think of, okay, how do I finance those deals, right? So in the last videos and watch them if you didn't yet, we talked about asset based lenders and we talked about cash flow lenders and we talked about similar to cash flow lenders, which is basically SBA loans for the US guys and asset based lenders just in a nutshell is a way for you to leverage the business assets, things like tangible assets, most likely things like accounts receivables, inventory, equipment, real estate, and you can leverage them to basically get a loan to pay for the acquisition cost. And the other way is to use cash flow lenders where you basically use the business cash flow to get a specific loan amount. So those are kind of like two good ways to look for, for your financing. Uh, but today I want to talk about something very specific whenever you go to whatever lender and we're going to talk about different lending options and different ways to get capital in future videos. I want to, I want to try to get this, um, I guess sequence as, as long as I can because there are many, many different ways to get capital for your deals. But for now, I want to focus on something very specific in case, because some of you already told me, okay, I'm starting to talk to those lenders. What, what do I do? What do I make sure that I don't risk anything and, and stuff like that? So I want to focus on one very important thing today. And in general, many people that I see who try to go out there and talk about getting loans and getting financing for deals, I think one of the biggest reasons that people, first of all, don't even talk to financial institutions or don't even try to put themselves out there to talk to business owners is they're afraid they really have a lot of fear in them because what will happen if I loan a million dollars and the business, we need to shut down the business and who's going to be responsible for that? Is that going to be me personally or what's going to happen? So we're going to dive into all of those things. So the first thing I want to talk about is personal guarantee and personally, basically going and signing personal guarantees on, on the loans yourself. Um, with loans like SBA, for example, someone got to sign personal guarantee. Um, at least one shareholder in the business need to sign a personal guarantee on the loan. So in every loan that you look at, and you can see that in asset based lenders with cash flow lenders, literally all the type of loans that you're going to look into, you're going to have, uh, I guess, personal, guar personal guarantees involved somehow. Now, it's, it, it's going to be need to be your decision if and how much you're going to sign on the, the guarantee. Um, I can tell you obviously depends on if and how much you have to risk, if and how much uh, the deal is important to you. Uh, if it's your first deal and you don't have much to lose, then I'd say do whatever you can. If you need to sign personal guarantees and you have a lot to lose, you need to think about it twice of if and how much you believe in the deal. I can tell you that at this stage, uh, me and my partners, we're not signing personal guarantees. First of all, because the financial institutions, we have contacts with them, we know them very well and they're getting to a point where they're making us offers and understand that we know the business that we're looking into we know how to do those deals and they trust us that's why they don't need that and many times all we need is the assets as collateral but in to get those type of offers many times you need a lot of experience and track record to get it going so ideally when you negotiate with any type of financier you want to get to a point where the only guarantee that they have is the assets as collateral for the for the loan or the business as collateral for the loan. Another thing we're doing many times is um, signing personal guarantees up to a specific amount. And if that's the case, we can always use the business. So let's say we need to sign a personal guarantee up to $100,000 or something like that. We can then go to the business that we're acquiring and take that 100,000. As soon as we buy the business, there's cash in the business. We can take that one, that amount put it in an escrow just for worst case scenarios for whatever if if for some for some reason whatever day we have to shut down the business and someone need to be liable for for, for shutting down the business and uh, someone need to basically go back to the financer and, and pay them then we know we have that guarantee in an escrow account and we know we basically can use that so i'd say there are definitely lots of risks and other different risks involved with buying businesses like i said obviously we're buying big businesses and every mistake here can cost a lot so you need to make sure you have the experience of doing it or at least have someone in your team who have the experience of even walking your i mean if you have someone in your team that went through liquidations and closing businesses i think it's really important because he can show you what are the steps to make sure that if you need to for whatever reason shut down the business then you personally not liable and not at least not losing your ass as they say right so 
I think it's really, really important to get to a point where you have someone who's been to that stage and ideally get to a point where you can put yourself in front of financial institutions that will give you loans without personal guarantee them. Now, also remember, with every institution that you're talking to, you'll get some kind of a term sheet with a proposal. And remember that you can negotiate those terms all the time. Like the first term sheet is not binding to any size. And if you have better offers with other banks or institutions or financial partners, then always use them. Don't, don't see as the first, the first term, term sheet as the only sheet. At the same time, remember, and I talked it in other videos, that your goal should be to go and acquire the business. So whatever it takes, get that money. That's your first goal. And then if you can negotiate better terms, obviously do that. Now, when you work with financial institutions on, on closing the deal, many times they'll ask you to pay their fees, their due diligence fees. Um, again, that's up to negotiation as well. Like we're, you can, we're at this stage, don't, not, don't need to pay the financial institution fees unless we close the deal. So that's something you'll need to negotiate too. And obviously have someone in your team with the deals will help you do that. Otherwise, someone will, uh, some institutions will ask you to pay their fees anyway in advance many times so that's something you need to figure out um, remember that you want to move as fast as possible when you raise that capital after you sign an LOI you want to bring everyone on board and be really focused to move forward on that deal and raise that capital to, to close that deal now every time you work with financial institutions it's common sense right they'll ask you for for things about the business they'll ask you questions and you need to be the middle man the person who's arranging things between the financial institutions and the business owner and always you need to make sure that things are smooth and things are moving forward whenever you work with financial institutions and the business owner to make sure they provide the information to them and yeah, if you want to skip the hard work of talking to financial institutions and putting yourself out there and, and I guess, passing through great gatekeepers, um, if you want to accelerate your, your growth and, I guess, move faster on your deals, you can work with our team. Um, just check the details in the end of the video. But basically, me and my team combined, we did more than 300 deals. We have the contacts with many financial institutions around the world that we can get access to. Literally, we can get proposals for financing many times within a day or two on whatever deal you have and we can make sure that you don't need to sign those personal guarantees yourself and we make sure that obviously we're getting the best terms out there so if you want to skip that and you want us to open doors and and to work with us as partners because our goal is to buy more businesses i want to buy more businesses to own more businesses so if i can help you accelerate your growth and grow faster and be your partner with my team and if that's something you want to do at least in your first deal or the first few ones so if you have even have an existing business or have or have done few deals before you know that initially they take a lot of work so if you want to work with a, a, another team that will be your partners and help you when you don't have much time uh, then see the details in, in the end of the video so um, yeah, I guess that, that's it for today. We're gonna do more videos on on how to get capital for your deals and all that. There, there's a tons of different opportunities uh, and, and options for you to get capital for your deals. I guess in the end of the day, it comes down to how much you want to do the deal and how much you want to put yourself out there to look for all the other options. And we're gonna talk about different options. But yeah, that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you soon. Hey guys, Moan Pobera here and thank you very much for watching this video. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, help me grow the channel because the more you help me grow the channel, the more deals I'll be able to do and the more I'll be able to give you more value. So please, if you didn't yet, like the video right now, subscribe right now and comment below on this video. Let me know your thoughts. And also check in the description below this video, there's a text description where you can have a link to a free business buying mastermind group that we have on Facebook. Join it right now if you're not in it yet. There are amazing people in there, people who are looking or doing deals on a regular basis and you can be part of this conversation. So go to the description right now. Also, I'm looking to create daily videos on the topics of buying and growing businesses and I need your help on having ideas for more topics. So in the description below, you also see a link for a survey where you give me your biggest question. You just fill in, fill in your personal details and I'll create a personalized video for you based on your specific question. So help me with that. Put your details below in the survey and give me ideas for videos. Do it right now after you join the Facebook group. And if you like this type of content or just in general looking to accelerate your growth and buy businesses faster and you want to take things to the next level, if you want to see if you're a fit to our partner program and basically have access to a team that did more than 300 deals, it's mainly me and my partner, Carl Ellen, and we have a main CFO who was involved in many, many deals. So if you want access to that and you want us to be your partners, if you want access to us 24 seven, I mean access to me in my Skype, my personal email, my phone number if needed, and you want us to show you A to Z how to buy and grow businesses and how to grow by acquisitions, 
and not just show you what to do, but also be there with you and help you close deals as your partners. We want to do more deals and we can help you do that. You'll learn everything from how to position yourself as a legit buyer if you, if you have no experience and how to use our track record as your dream team and position yourself as a legit buyer in front of business owners and brokers. How to then find motivated sales because everyone can find business owners and tell them that you want to buy their business but most of them are not motivated to sell their business and we will show you how to find motivated sales. We'll show you how to talk to those business owners, how to negotiate deals with them, how to get the financials from them and how to use our team to do all the calculations and make sure that the deal is a good deal. Because yes, you can buy a business, but what if it's a shitty business and you don't know how to calculate the right ratios? You don't want to be screwed in this space. You'll then see how to get financing on your, those deals. And not only that, we will open our our contacts and the access to all the financial institutions that we know. We will show you how to get accountants and lawyers on success fees. And obviously we have our team to do that. So you won't need to even find them. And we'll then of course show you how to grow those businesses and how to make sure we have someone operating the day to day for us. Because unless you want to run businesses day to day because you're passionate about it, we highly suggest you not to do that. We can find someone to run the day to day for us while we in charge of the vision and setting goals for that manager. Not only that we're going to open our doors to all the financial institutions that you need, we are also going to put our personal capital into deals in our group of partners, in our shark tank. We're going to create some kind of a shark tank where we're going to look at deals that you want to buy and we potentially going to invest our own capital, basically going to put some equity kick into those deals. So many times, you know, you can buy a million dollar business, but you're missing 50 grand here, 100,000 here. And we are able to put our personal capital just because we believe in those deals. Those are our, the best deals out there. Investing in small businesses is, is the best thing an investor can do. And we will put the capital into some of those deals as well. So if you need help with that, you can apply to the program. If you never bought a business before, or if you have an existing business and you want to grow it by acquisitions and go and buy other complementary businesses. This is for people who understand that they need to invest in themselves in order to get to a point where they can buy a million dollar business. And it's also for, for people who understand that every day that go by and you're not buying another million dollar business and you're not owning another million dollar business, it's costing you million dollar. So if you're trying to learn about this space for one month or two months or one year or two years, every month that go by and you didn't buy a business cost you another one million dollar so don't hustle anymore to get another client for your business let's hustle together to buy a million dollar business as partners and don't get me wrong you can definitely try and do it on your own just by watching my free videos some of the info i have here i literally paid multiple six figures to learn but the partner program is for people who want to accelerate their growth, who want to have access to people and contacts and doors that they wouldn't have otherwise. This is for people who want to cut their learning curve in years. That is for people who are committed to take decisions right now and get results right now. So if you don't want to wait, go to moranpober.com forward slash talk and me or one of my team members will talk to you to see if it's a fit. The worst case is that you'll get a better clarity on your next steps in this space of buying businesses and will give you all the advice that you want. The best case is that you'll have access to a team that did more than 300 deals who will buy with you as your partners, your first or first, second or as many businesses as you want with you as soon as possible. So if you want, go right now to moanpober.com forward slash talk and I'll talk to you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and the other videos on this channel like, subscribe, comment, help me grow the channel, help me buy more businesses so I can help you buy yours as well. Hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon.